Around 365 days ago, I was hired along with some friends to shoot a movie in Tahiti on the beautiful island of Mo'orea. We filmed two movies to be exact, a thriller called Stockton Paradise and a romance called Identical Love. We filmed out there for nearly a month. It was amazing. It's also my favorite of the islands we have visited to work on. With the high mountain vistas overlooking multiple ocean bays, lush green jungles, and the breathtaking stillness of the ocean surrounding the island, I couldn't have dreamed to be working in such a place, but then there I was. With one of the two movies completed, it was time for our day off. Today is day off for us. Trying to min-max my time, so to speak, by making the most of my day off in such a wonderful place, I joined a group looking to go whale watching. While the surfers surfed and the pot of dolphins passed by, we listened to the horrors of shark attacks with explicit detail by our French charter captain. Once in French and another time in English. That took about 25 minutes. Also, we saw lots of humans on boats passing by along the way. We couldn't quite get close enough. We're not quite getting close enough. That's what I said. Maybe this is all just montage footage. Maybe this is just montage footage. Uh, yeah. Even though far away, some whales were in fact spotted breaching. However, poor Mason had had enough. We flipped around and headed back. Well, we did see some whales. We didn't get to quite go jump in and swim with them, but that's the first time I've really seen a whale like in real life. So that was cool. But we did think we were gonna actually jump in and swim. We did see one whale tour boat that was out there right in the path and it looked like they had stopped and there was a bunch of heads out there and the whales just went straight either under them or around them, probably pretty close to them because they were right in the path. We were hoping that we would be like them. I don't know. So now we have some scheduled scooters. Now this is what I'm talking about. John, Scott, Sean, and I reserve scooters to go explore the island. We didn't have much of a plan more than let's go. Also, just a heads up on planning a scooter outing on Mo'orea. Get your motorcycle endorsement on your driver's license to be able to get the scooter with the bigger motor. Trust me, it's worth it. And consider bringing some kind of rain gear just in case. <laughs> the scooter gang's here. My head has never looked so bulbous. <laughs> I'm gonna get shot out of a cannon soon. And we're off to the races.
We had decided to turn down any major looking street to further expand our adventures. Came to a place where they're playing soccer, but not allowed. Scott's getting a pick. Any paved road, we're just kind of going off and trying to see what's on it. And we happen upon this soccer game that no one's allowed to be at because like of COVID. It's halftime. Yeah, you can see the team over there. Ah. I wish this kid right here is wearing a Barcelona jersey. I highly doubt that one of the greatest teams in the world is playing here today. <laughs> but look at that. I mean, this is ridiculous. Freaking A. That is why you turn down every cement road in Morea that you can, just in case. Yeah. Now we slip down this. Yeah, now we slip down it. I'm gonna make sure to get it all on camera. Romancing the stone. Oh my gosh. It is. This is definitely like romancing the stone. Martian helmets, huh? We mean you no harm. And off we go. A little, um, or a lot of rain wasn't going to stop our adventures. We continued making the turns. We're here on the top, uh, well, we're making our way up the top. <laughs> this is the uh, Mount, Mount Titicaca. Mount Rain. But mostly caca. Yeah, and we're getting a good amount of liquid. I don't know if you can catch my warheads poking out there, but I'm... <laughs> I'm aroused by the height. Wow. Kind of have to embrace this. Uh, this oh, there's a dry spot on you. See it. There's a dry spot. I better. My favorite was when I could just feel. You could feel it like soaking in. And then it goes, done. <laughs> All right. Let's start this back up. We've, we've just embraced. <laughs> Embrace it. So we're gonna check out the store because there's no rain in the store. Hey, we already found something. Gotta, gotta wear masks. Well, the rain is subsiding. We're exiting the rain. <laughs> 
and happy to be exiting it. Whoa, why are you stopping? Don't stop. I'm gonna hit the back of you. Whoa, I got speed wobbles. Why don't break? This Catholic-influenced church was built in 1897 by Pasquan Masons. It's a replica of the St. Michael de Gambier Cathedral made out of coral. Its silhouette with its two bell towers against a backdrop of greenery and the mountain peak of Morea continues to inspire many painters. The altar in the church garden was made from two ancient carved stones built around 900 AD, enclosed in coral slabs. Either way you slice it, they're all going to hell. <laughs> on, a, on a Peugeot Tweet 50. <laughs> on a Peugeot Tweet 50. That's the uh, motor scooters that were on here. Le Peugeot Tweet. <laughs> we ride astride like kids. <laughs> and finally, the rain in Spain went back to Spain. Something that's not here, luckily. So we can stop in our wet clothing and check, check this out. Wait, let's do a oh, forced perspective thing. Oh. This is the, the place. The centre, the centre culture, I'll be born. I don't speak French. Oh yeah, it's I don't a, speak French. A, oh yeah, it's a tiki cat. Well, village theater. I wonder what's showing. Probably something about flowers crooning or. <laughs> what did he say? I don't know. He's paying attention. Well, we turn down every road. That's what we do. <laughs> and we spit. <laughs> what did you say? Before? What did you say? He's working on his posture. <laughs> My scooter will die if I stop. Oh. And it takes 10 minutes to restart. Oh, okay. Keep going. Yeah. A bunch of goons going in circles. Let's do it.
Welcome to Jurassic Park. Hey there, guys. I'm Mr. Rock, your host. <laughs> Welcome to Fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine a car to the lawn sounded like that. My few guests. Welcome. Uh, let's drive up the coast here. <laughs> Get back on my sweet hog. was seemingly long, and in those rainy moments, the terrain felt as if it were uphill both ways. However, in the end, the view alone that await was a triumph. For our adventure had come to a proverbial and literal peak. last ounce of strength was pressed out of John's scooter, finally eking him to the top, allowing him to rest his eyes upon the vast splendor, which was the Belvedere Overlook. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, we managed to get John's bike coasting all the way back down and returned. But we had one final mission to complete, food. We had to pro up. What? <laughs> now we're going to the food truck. Oh yeah. What do you get? What do you get here? Cheeseburger and fries. Uh. Thanks for coming with me on our search for whales out in the ocean. We saw it a little bit. Thanks for going on a tour around the entire island of Mo'orea. We drove all the way around. Ended up coming back to the food truck. I can't wait to get out of these soaking wet clothes and just go take a hot shower. But cheeseburger and fries await. He's good. Thanks for watching. Be excellent to each other. And ta ta for now. Go. I can't hear. We gotta go. <laughs>